Hello everyone, Jeff from RespawnStudios.com here with a very special Silent Hill Downpour Achievement Guide. This is for Silent Hill Historical Society and this is going to be all 53 mysteries in one video. I do have individual parts up, but I thought this might be more effective for some people, so I decided to put all of my individual parts together, and now I'm doing a new narration for you. <laughs> so, uh, all right, enjoy. This is the first mystery. This is after you um, break the lock and come into the uh, diner. This is a map on this booth. <laughs> But the first mystery is on a booth by the door to the kitchen where you turn off the gas. Or try and turn it off as it starts a fire. But there we go, our first mystery. And again, there are 53 of these. Alright, now this is in the basement of the diner. This is after you've come through the um, reverse side. You have to break another lock. Here I was so bad with melee weapon, <laughs> I then had to shoot it because my melee weapon wasn't working with the lock. <laughs> and in this back room is our next mystery. All right, now skipping ahead, this is our very next mystery actually though. This is in Devil's Pit, soon after you push this cart. This is not missable. Um, in that you have to pick it up to then go through this doorway. I just want to make sure that I include all 53. So there we go. And a lot of these give really nice backstory that have some nice details that really help the story. So if you ignore these, you probably are asking a lot of what the hells and what the fucks about the game. But those help illuminate a lot of it. All right, this is after one of the times you ride the elevator. This is one of the, I think the last time you do, there's a body uh, strapped there, and you pick up that mystery, which is in between those wires. All right, now this is um, at the end of, I think it's called McCammon Street. This is the police station, where you have to come to enter the codes to stop the police cars. But just inside the broken wall on the left is a mystery. And then this is after you cross that um, narrow walkway in that same police station. You have to use the axe, which is right there, to break through the door. And the mystery is on the ground just inside that door. All right, this is just outside of the police station in the side yard. There is going to be a mystery on the ground here by the fence toward the street. And then there's actually going to be another mystery, so I keep the video going, right across the street. Uh, right by a sandbox over here. And if you haven't done that police side quest, I highly suggest you do it because then the patrol cars are, will never be around in the game again. And if they ever spot you and they still are around, they send three enemies at a time at you. So it's very annoying. All right. Now this is the final one in the hillside section of Silent Hill. This is before you transition to Pearl Creek. This is where you pick up the device to pull down the ladder. Now when you climb the ladder, you can head right to the left and go across the narrow beam into the apartment building, which is Pearl Creek, or the start of that section. But if you come over here to the right, once we climb the ladder, there's going to be the mystery taped or somehow stuck <laughs> to the top of this barrel. And there we go. All right, now this is in the apartment building that I was just talking about, across that narrow beam. And this is on the third floor. You start on the second floor when you come across, so be sure to come up here to the third floor. And um, inside that apartment on the third floor is also where you get the stolen goods side quest, which is where I got this outfit, which a lot of people were asking about. All right, now this is the start of the ribbon side quest. This is on Pearl, um, this is in the Pearl Creek section. I believe it's the bottom of... Um, you have to go to the dock. I always forget the name of the street. It's one of the L streets. But um, hopefully you'll find that missing persons poster. I'm sorry. I forget the name of that street. Um, but just after you head north there, there's going to be a mystery on the ground. And this is uh, skipping ahead to the end of the ribbon side quest, which I also have a little video up for. You get a second mystery. Each of them count as a mystery, though. Not the missing persons poster, the one you pick up for the ribbon, and then the one at the end. 
All right, now this is um, across from the park in the Pearl Creek section at the top of the street. There's this envelope with numbers circled. It's right outside of the um, locked storage shed that you have to use that code to open. All right, now here I start to show you the map. I finally found it. <laughs> um, this is where the art gallery is at the end of Cook Street in the alley. And there's going to be three mysteries all on this floor where you enter the art gallery. There's going to be two in this office, one on the desk and one on the little table just inside of the door once I turn to the right. And then there's going to be another mystery um, in the back room on this floor, which um, has a lot of paintings around, as you would guess, since it's an art gallery, but it's kind of weird to see <laughs> so many strewn about, not even hung, just laying around. But there we go, three mysteries in that one in building. All right, now here, this is again in Pearl Creek. That's the bank, and there is one of the birds for that side quest. But across the street from there is a mystery. Hopefully you're not going to be attacked while you're doing this. There's a prison minion. All right, now this... Where the hell are we? Oh, <laughs> derp. This is as you're coming out of the park toward the Centennial Building. This is the start of the uh, radio station main story quest. But as this cutscene starts, you pick up this piece of paper, and that actually counts as one of the mysteries. I just wanted to be sure to point that one out. All right, now this is in the basement of the Centennial Building, the garage. Come over here to the passenger door of the police car, and there's going to be a mystery on the passenger seat, as I just said. <laughs> All right, now on the next floor up, the archives. This is uh, where the doll is once you've gone past some of the stacks and if you use your forensic flashlight you see some blood stains which lead you back here and there's a mystery on that desk there's also weeping bats so be careful all right now this is um that same archives but we've now climbed the ladder there's a safe if you put in the code which i don't know if this is the same for all difficulties but on easy it's nine six one but um you can enter this code the second you see the vault that's why i'm showing this one next and this one's kind of strange. You could pick it up before or after this cutscene, but um, to trigger the cutscene, you come over to that dead body and pick up the ID card. If you do, it triggers this flashback cutscene, and then you have to wait this one out. So there I skip through it. But if you don't pick up the ID card and come in here first, you can examine this book, which adds this mystery. All right, this one is on the first floor of that section where the vault was you have to go downstairs there is a room that i was looking toward to start this little clip where a dead security guard is and you have to pick up his id card which you then use to open this room and this desk has an envelope puzzle which is very simple you just spin them around and once you finish the code it adds the solution as a mystery to your notebook now this is in that same area where you have to go um, this is back on the second floor, though, where you can climb to the third floor. Before you do that, though, make sure to pick up this mystery on the desk right there. Now, this is after we've gone to the third floor. We cross two of those balance beams, and we've climbed back down to the second floor to an area we can only access once we climb down that ladder. And when we come across, if you go in this desk drawer that you pull out, we get another mystery. I'll be back for part three, hopefully today or tomorrow. Thanks for watching. First two sections. These are going to All right, now this is going to be the last few that you could just pick up around Silent Hill itself before we do the monastery and prison, the last two main story levels. This one I just picked up, so it's not there, but this is in the movie theater, and you come up to the projection room, and it's right on that wall behind the projector. Now this is behind the movie theater, the alleyway. Up there is the gramophone side quest, but if you come in this fenced-in little area with the um, benches... That's also where a dig spot is for the digging up the past side quest. Is going to be another mystery on the ground toward the back. All right, now this is outside of St. Maria's Monastery. Come over here to the right, and down this staircase is a fountain, and on the right side of the fountain is a mystery. Well, I guess it's kind of behind it, but... <laughs> 
but unfortunately it came down with a really a lot of things crossed out <laughs> all right now this is in the port district that um, van you can open the back doors and get a painting but this is the first port you come to past the van in the port district this is near the drawbridge now this is in the house right next to that porch where you can do the um, ashes to ashes side quest on the first floor in the second door on your left which I'm now entering is going to be a mystery on this desk and then once we go upstairs in this building there's going to be another mystery so this is again in the building right next to the porch where we just were this is still in the port district and you know the buildings you can enter if there's a light on outside and the doors illuminated and here's the other mystery on the bed those also help you with the side quest All right, um, where are we? Oh, this is the now end of the ribbon side quest, which I mentioned earlier. Um, once you've picked up the key on the dock and you've come back to this apartment building, which is a couple doors down past the movie theater, you pick up the mother's confession, and that counts as a mystery. All right, this is another end of a side quest. This is the mirror, mirror side quest, which is across the drawbridge on the left. It's the second door on the left, across the drawbridge in the last district. And you pick that one up after you finish it and the mirror shatters. I apparently forgot to edit out one of these intros, but it allowed me to talk a little more. <laughs> Sorry, I mashed up all the parts together. All right, now we are in St. Maria's Monastery. This is um, not missable. I just, again, want to be sure to include all of them. This is where you have to bash open the gate to this altar, and we pick up the first of three poem fragments. So there we go. Now, this is on the first floor of the monastery in a classroom. This is on the teacher's desk. You also know it by the cross and the red um, curtain behind it. Pick up that mystery on the desk. Now, in the room right next to it is the theater. Make sure in that classroom we were just in, you picked up the um, hook to pull down the ladder. And once you climb that ladder, over here on the right, on the little table by the wall, is the instructions, which is a mystery. The instructions for the um, techie, for the play. Now, once you've correctly finished that puzzle and the um, theater area transforms, you come to this little cabin where you have to go to this chest and solve this little picture puzzle. And when you correctly finish that, you get poem fragment two after picking up this eraser. Also, keep in mind that eraser, that eraser, <laughs> that eraser, because um, I'm going to mention it in a little bit. Okay, we are now on the second floor. There's this big unmarked room on the right. Be sure to come here before using the eraser in the classroom, because once you use the eraser to um, get rid of the chalk, it triggers this little scene which locks a door and doesn't allow you to come back. So be sure to go into that uh, unmarked room in the top right to pick up that Father's Day card. Now this is after we've used the eraser. This is the room just beyond that. Um, on the back of this um, paper-ridden desk is a mystery. Be sure to pick it up. And across the hall from there, as you see, I'm zooming in the map. This is still the second floor of the monastery, the orphanage section. I was really convinced you could open that desk drawer, but it wasn't. It was this one over here. <laughs> and there we go. Also a first aid kit on my left. There's a crazy number of first aid kits. I don't know if it was because I was playing on easy or what, but I had like 50 or something by the end of the game. All right, so this is now in what's called the restroom. And there it is on the table. I guess it's not bathroom, restroom. It's just actually a room to rest in. <laughs> now, this is before you enter the x-ray room. There's this little um, office. You could actually come in here after doing the x-ray room with the screamers. I just happened to come in here first. And you pull out the desk drawer. There's a first aid kit and the mystery. Now, we are entering the x-ray room. But before you go over to the screamers, over here to the left, just inside of the door, is a mystery. And now the screamers... The one that you're able to fish around in their guts. <laughs> Once you uh, correctly do the little um, maneuver of the thumbstick and hit A, you pull out this key and you also get the 
uh, last poem fragment. So that is our last mystery for the uh, monastery. And now we have our home stretch, the final 11, which are in the prison level. Now this is just after we've arrived in the prison. Be careful, this is easily missable. Um, there's this paper that flutters by. And the first couple times I went through here, I thought it was just like some piece of paper that flies through. But if you wait, it does land, and it's one of the mysteries, so be sure to pick that one up. And then after going across the balance beam, you're in this guard tower. Now down by the safe on a desk is our next mystery with a lot of redacted information, crossed out stuff. All right, now this is after we've exited the guard tower and we're back in this sort of cell block. If you come all the way around here, past the staircase to the back, the last cell you can go in has a handwritten letter, which is another mystery. Now this is the next floor down or up once you go through the staircase. Um, a ball bounces out into the cell block, and then when you look down that cell, it extends, and there's water. I don't think this is missable, but again, I just wanted to point all of them out. Once you get to the end of this area, um, there is a letter from your wife, which is our next mystery over here in the little side table on the left. And there we go. All right, now this is in the same cell block area. This is past the electric wire where that um, one prison juggernaut jumps you when you're trying to slide through. Now this is in the um, security room. Be sure to come back to this back desk, pull open the drawer. There are pistol bullets, so if you hit A once, then leave. You probably just got the pistol bullet, so be sure to hit A twice to be sure you got the mystery. All right, now this is in the next section, which we just unlocked via the security room. This is where you have to pass your items through the um, security check. But be sure to open these lockers. There's a mystery in this one and a health kit in the other. Now this is the next room. Uh, this is where there's a little cutscene with a juggernaut with two regular enemies on a leash. Um, in the first cell on the left, past the area right here on the right where we had to go down, there is a mystery on the floor. And this is the end of that hallway where there are the machine shops, the workshops. There are two mysteries right next to each other. One is here um, on this workbench. And another is in the back room by the forensic flashlight on the ground. There is another first aid kit. And there's our mystery. All right, now just two more. After we have done the escape sequence through the vent, um, we had this little area where we had to use the access card and dodge three enemies or kill them, but I was going through for the not kill any enemies as well. And this is the second floor of that area, which is called the day room on the map. And there are two collectibles again right next to each other, which is our last two, one on the floor by the lockers and the other right here on the table. And that'll do it. 50 Gamer Score, Silent Hill Historic Society. I hope that helped. Thank you very much for watching, and feel free to check out my other Silent Hill Downpour guides. Thanks. One long part. So if that would be more effective, and you want to wait for that, be sure to be on the lookout for that.